Man who flew balloon chair over Calgary fined for stunt. Buckled in by a dream and tied to 120 helium balloons, then 26-year-old Daniel Boria dared to ask the age-old question, how high can one man fly? Well, turns out about 14,000 feet in that contraption. On July 5th of 2015, Boria hopped into his green lawn chair and let the rainbow-colored industrial-sized balloons carry him up, up, and away. It looked like something out of a movie, and in this case, it actually was. Boria's idea was inspired by Disney and Pixar's animated film, Up. Boria flew so high, he claims to have seen a Boeing 747 pass underneath him. A frightening thought, considering air traffic control found out about the stunt the same way everyone else on the ground did. Yikes! Boria originally had plans of parachuting into the Calgary Stampede chuck wagon races, but admits he wasn't strapped into his personal flying machine very securely. So, when the untamable wind started blowing him off course, Boria decided to bail out early, just to be safe. He expected a soft landing, but awaiting him on the ground were the flashing blue and red lights of authorities waiting to arrest him. On March 17th, at his sentencing hearing, a judge called Boria's stunt unconscionably stupid and handed out a $5,000 fine, with an extra $1,500 tacked on for a victim impact fee. He's also been ordered to donate $20,000 to a local veteran's food bank. Considering the stunt ran him about $10,000 to execute and was partially a marketing gimmick to promote his cleaning company, it may have actually paid off, and at the very least, left him with the thrill ride of a lifetime. What's next for the balloonatic? Believe it or not, his eyes are staring even higher in the sky, with a mission planned to take his lawn chair to space, roughly 140,000 feet up. Talk about tasting rare air. This guy's nuts. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. These days, you can take to the sky in all sorts of ways. Man flies lawn chair with balloons over Canada. Gets arrested. When 26-year-old Daniel Berea decided to do a publicity stunt to promote his company, he took marketing to new heights. And we do mean that literally. In a bid to generate a buzz for his waterless washing system, all clean natural, Berea attached helium balloons to a lawn chair and took off on Sunday. There were reportedly 110 helium balloons attached to a $20 lawn chair. He originally intended to land in the Calgary Stampede, a rodeo show. However, he was knocked off course by unanticipated weather changes. Berea explained that he saw a 747 taking off below him at one point and that winds got stronger as he rose higher. Some of his balloons eventually started popping, and Berea says he somersaulted out of his chair and opened his parachute. As he landed, Berea sustained a minor injury to his ankle. He was later detained by police. Twitter user Dan Dalgetty tweeted that it's still better than United, while Katie2105 shared this photo, referencing the hit Pixar movie, Up. The chair and some other balloons were later picked up by Berea's team. Berea was charged with one kind of mischief, causing danger to life. This six-rotor personal drone would be an awesome way to get around. Ever since the Jetsons, who hasn't dreamed of owning a flying car? That day an electrical vertical takeoff and landing vehicle can replace the gas guzzler in the driveway. But what if you just want to zip around the neighborhood? Well, then the Solexa is the whip for you. The Solexa is designed for shorter flights of about 20 minutes. Imagine skipping over traffic on your way to work. Or you and a friend can explore the countryside in a Solexa, which is way cooler than taking an ATV. Its designers also think the police might find the Solexa useful. Cops riding a Solexa could quickly respond to a crime scene and then report back to a command center. Navigation would be automated. Punch in coffee shop and the Solexa is programmed to take you there. The Solexa has a 200 pound payload, a 30 meter height ceiling, and a maximum flying time of about 20 minutes. At this point, the concept is just a concept, much like flying cars that fold into a briefcase. Jetpack company comes out with electric VTOL concept. After giving the world its first working jetpack, 
David Maimon and company are bringing to life yet another science fiction dream. Flying cars. Jetpack Aviation is designing a new single-seat electric multicopter, equipped with six arms, 12 propellers, and landing balls instead of skids. Each arm on the VTOL aircraft comes with two propellers, one mounted on top and another underneath. They spin in opposite directions. The flying car will only be able to travel up to 90 miles per hour and operate up to 20 minutes before it needs to be recharged. Two of the middle arms will be designed to fold in so that the vehicle will be low and thin enough to fit inside a garage. Jetpack Aviation is currently developing a safety system for the project, with the team estimating that they will begin building the device in about six months. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Dubai to introduce flying drone taxis this summer. Need to go to work, but don't feel like waiting at rush hour? Dubai is set to go all Jetsons this summer by offering flying drone taxis. The Dubai Roads and Transport Authority has announced it will start operating drone taxis in July along predetermined routes. They will be using the Ehang 184 Autonomous Quad Opener Electric Drone to shuttle people around the city via air. The Ehang 184 drone can carry one passenger with a maximum weight of 220 pounds. The drone can fly 31 miles on one charge at a top speed of 100 miles per hour, although officials said their drones will operate at 62 miles per hour. Passengers will board the drone, buckle into a harness, and select a destination on the touchscreen before taking off. The Ehang drones will be monitored through a central command center on the ground.